About a year ago, I produced a video explaining how to record television programs on a PC and then stream those recorded television programs back to another computer anywhere in the world. The original video utilized the Microsoft Remote Desktop application to schedule recordings and to configure the streaming application. However, in recent months, I have come up with a much more efficient method of accomplishing this. On this episode of Tech Report, I'm going to explain how to use Hoppage WinTV Extend along with VLC Media Player to enjoy your television programming anywhere in the world. My home server is the center of my digital life, and this small PC is where I schedule and record most of my television shows. My server has a Core i3 processor with 8GB of RAM, and it runs Windows Server 2008 R2 as its operating system. Now for this project, I would recommend using a PC that has a minimum of a 2.0GHz processor uh, that's at least a dual core. Um, it is possible to record programs using a PC with a little bit less power. I had it working on an Intel Atom with a 1.6 GHz processor. However, streaming the programs back uh, is a little bit more difficult and very likely you're going to be saturating your processor and maybe experiencing some lag when trying to stream them. In terms of an operating system, I would highly recommend using Microsoft Windows 7 or Windows Vista uh, because these operating systems have a lot of media codecs built in. Um, however, if you have a server that you want to use and is running Windows Server 2008 or 2008 R2, you can use uh, that operating system as well. There's a couple of things you've got to do though. First of all, you have to make sure you install the desktop experience and the quality Windows audio video experience features. And once you've done that, you need to install the BDA for Server program, uh, which I actually found on a great website called The Green Button. Um, you can download BDA for Server from my website. All right, now the two programs that I'm going to use in this video are Hoppage WinTV Extend and VLC Media Player. VLC is a free download, um, and WinTV is included with all Hoppage TV Tuner cards. You can use an alternate program to record and schedule recordings of TV shows. Um, something like Beyond TV is a good example. However, um, I don't use that program myself and I'm not going to support uh, the use of any third-party applications. Next, you will need to obtain a copy of WinTV Extend. Extend is the addition to WinTV that allows you to schedule recordings and stream television channels through a web browser. And unfortunately, it's not included with every version of WinTV. Now officially, the only way to get a hold of WinTV Extend is to buy a CD from Hoppage uh, that costs $10 plus shipping. However, uh, WinTV Extend can be obtained unofficially through a variety of BitTorrent websites. Now let's get into the procedure a little bit. If you have WinTV installed already, you're going to want to uninstall it, and instead of uninstalling it through the Add Remove Programs option, you're going to want to run the HCW Clear application. Uh, the HCW Clear application is included on the installation disk that came with your TV tuner card. Once it's done uninstalling WinTV, you're going to want to reboot your computer. Once it comes back online, install WinTV as normal, keeping all the default options, unless of course you want to change some of the uh, recording and or data directories. Towards the end of the installation, you're going to have a window that pops up asking you if you want to enable Extend. Click OK, and uh, that should complete the installation of WinTV. Now you can launch the WinTV application, uh, go ahead and set up your TV channels as you like, whether it's from an antenna or a cable or satellite source. Um, and once you've configured your TV channels, um, you're going to want to right click in the WinTV window and bring up the configuration and then go to the Extend tab. Uh, choose a port that you want to run Extend on. Um, I would recommend not using the default port just for security reasons. And uh, you're also going to want to tick the button that says Allow Access from Remote Clients. Um, at that point, it's going to ask you for a unique PIN number for that service and make sure you enter a PIN number that you can easily remember. Now restart your computer and open up a web browser on a separate computer. For testing, I would recommend opening up a web browser on a computer that's connected to the same physical router as your WinTV machine. Type in the internal IP address of your server computer, for example, 192.168.1.10, and then follow that by the port that WinTV Extend is located on. 
it could be, if you're using the default port, it would be 7799. What should pop up um, is a screen which uh, has a list of all your TV channels on it and allows you to stream them back. If, for some reason, you're unable to bring up the WinTV Extend page, it could mean that the firewall on your WinTV computer is blocking connections. As a test, temporarily disable Windows Firewall and try again to connect to the PC remotely. Um, if you are successful, then you're going to need to add a firewall exception for WinTV uh, so that the Windows Firewall application doesn't block traffic trying to connect to it. Once you've confirmed that Extend is working, you're going to want to forward some ports on your router so that uh, you can access this web page from the internet as opposed to just from inside your network. I'm not going to tell you how to forward ports on your router. Uh, the best place to figure that out if you don't know how is to go to portforward.com and uh, they've got instructions on just about every type, uh, major type of router that's out there. So, now you can access your WinTV installation from anywhere in the world just by bringing up the page on a web browser. You can also stream recorded programs back to yourself using the WinTV page. Um, so if you don't want to install VLC, you can simply use WinTV to stream recordings. However, I prefer using VLC to stream media. Um, additionally, VLC is not limited to streaming WinTV recordings. You can stream your music library, your TV shows, your movies, uh, as well as your recorded TV programs. So if you want to install VLC, go ahead, download it, and install it now. Keep all the default options. Once you have finished installing VLC, you're going to want to launch it. And... Um, you're going to want to bring up the preferences window. Click on the all settings radio button to bring up uh, all of the um, possible settings and navigate to interfaces. Click on main interface and select the check mark on the HTTP interface option. Select the HTTP interface and enter 0.0.0.0.888 which allows VLC to listen for incoming HTTP requests on any IP address. So if your IP address changes, VLC will still be listening for new requests. Uh, the colon 888 is uh, the port that you want VLC to be listening on. Um, you can change that to whatever you want. Now close VLC and you're going to want to open up the configuration files. If you kept the default options, the configuration files should be in C, Program Files, Video LAN, VLC. Um, in that folder, there should be a HTTP folder. Open up the HTTP folder and right-click and edit the .hosts file. Uncomment the two lines following, quote, the world. Now, it is important to note that once you uncomment those lines and save the configuration and relaunch VLC, it can be controlled remotely through a web browser anywhere in the world. If you're not comfortable with this, uh, then I would recommend that you specifically bind VLC to listen on certain IP addresses and only accept connections from certain IP addresses. Open up a web browser and type in the IP address of your server, followed by the port that you used for VLC. You should be presented with a page similar to this one. At this point, you have all the tools necessary uh, to make your recording and streaming work. Um, all you need to do now is a little bit of experimentation to see what settings are going to work the best for you. Uh, to open up files, just click on the arrow button and uh, to browse to a file on your remote computer's hard drive, um, select the Browse option and click on the needed file. To stream the output, uh, click on the three arrows icon, and you're gonna, at this point you're going to have to select some settings. Now, I'm going to run through quickly the one setting that I found which works for me, and that's to choose HTTP stream, uh, IP 0.0.0.0, meaning it'll stream to any IP address, port 1234, or for more security, you can choose a uh, not-so-obvious port. Uh, video, MP2 video, video bitrate 256, audio bitrate 128. Now to start streaming, just click on the play option, and uh, what that's actually going to do is it's actually going to start playback on your WinTV computer. To connect to the stream, um, you're going to want to go to your remote computer and open up VLC. Uh, you're going to want to select the Open Network Stream option and uh, enter http colon slash uh, followed by the IP address of your server, followed by the port and if everything is working correctly you should see the video that you are streaming from your server displayed on your client. Now in order to, to facilitate remote access again you're going to need to forward some ports on your router you're going to need to forward the http port that VLC is listening on as well as the miscellaneous port in my case 1234 uh, that the stream is going to be active on. In this video, I've shown you how to install and configure WinTV Extend so that it can be used for remote control. 
I've also shown you how to remotely control VLC Media Player using the web interface. Using the steps I've outlined in this video, you should be able to remotely schedule television programs to record, and then stream your recorded television programs back to you, no matter where you are in the world, all without anyone needing to physically access the computer used to record TV shows. For Tech Report, I'm Christopher, reporting.